Hey guys, today I am at BeautyCon in LA and it's basically like a convention where there are booths where you can like meet other YouTubers and you can like buy makeup and then there's panels where they do kind of like Q&A's with a bunch of different YouTubers so I'm really excited and I thought it would be fun to take you guys with me. changed into my robe I put my glasses on it's a wonder my hair is not like on top of my head because that's normally my routine like the second I walk into the door thumbs up this video if you can relate I thought I would show you this gigantic bag of goodies that I got from the event today all right so first up I got this book of beauty thing from pixie and then I got this it's a um, quad of four different powders and this one is not tested on animals so this one's cruelty free like I said a lot of them are cruelty free this one is an eyeshadow palette from Pacifica it's upside down this is cruelty fee free and 100% vegan which is amazing all of Pacifica's products are great for that reason and look at these eyeshadows you guys I am really excited to put together a um, like a summery makeup look then I got this it is a um, dry finishing texture spray which basically just makes your hair really big I tease the crap out of my hair because my hair is really fine so this is going to be great for that normally I just use dry shampoo for texture but this is great and it is also not tested on animals right I'm just gonna do it like this it's just easier then I got this ginormous hairspray it is the 48 ultra strong sheer set and it's breathable finish which is good because I like messy beachy waves Okay, then I got two of these micellar water things. Comment below if you guys have tried these before. I personally haven't. This one is for waterproof. This one is for regular. And either way, it's basically a makeup removing step 
that's supposed to be really, really awesome. So I'm excited to give these a try. Then I got two products from Kate Somerville and the lady said that these are also not tested on animals. And this is the Exfolicate, which is a famous product of theirs. You guys probably already know about it. Um, but it is a exfoliator that you use. She said she just uses it in the shower and you leave it on your skin for two minutes after cleansing. And it's like a really nice exfoliator. And then this is a spot treatment. Then from Lena Cosmetics, I got the More Than Matte Liquid Lipstick. You guys, this is so pretty. It's kind of like a deep plum color. So this in the fall time is gonna be amazing and I love matte lipsticks. Then I got this Seven Wonders Brightening Mask. They sell this at Sephora. I love a sheet mask. Then I got this bronzer from Pure Beauty, also not tested on animals. It's real pretty. And apparently it's good for contouring. So then I got something by a company called Brow Girl. It's a highlighter pencil. Cool. So it goes like right underneath your eyebrow to kind of make it the and like in your inner corner. Oh, I've always wanted one of these. But well, this is like a champagne color on one side and then like a pinky iridescent color on the other side. Ooh, and it's creamy. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, okay, I definitely like the champagne one. It's a bit more iridescent. But how pretty is that? Then I got this Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. It's supposed to be good for your skin. Like there's salicylic acid in it and it's non-comeogenic, which is supposed to mean that it won't break you out. I also got these little lip glosses from them. They're called Color Jolt and they are intense. They're like really, really bright. This one is in the color Berry Naughty and it looks like that. Ooh. The other one is called Red D or Not, but it's like red hyphen D-Y. Oh, red, oh, I get it. <laughs> Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, then I got this stuff called Gloop Glam. It is a conditioner that smells like cake batter and it is also not tested on animals. I've never heard of this brand before, but I'm excited. Oh, no, one more thing. Um, this Z palette. I saw this, I think I saw this originally on like Jaclyn Hill's Snapchat or something. Cause I think she designed a palette for them back in the day, but basically it is a makeup palette that is magnetic. So, you, this is a magnet, so you put your eyeshadows, like you can depot your eyeshadows or your blushes or anything, which is just to say that you take them out of this packaging and just kind of like lift them out and then that will magnetize to this and then you have everything together and kind of organized. So you can do that with like all of your eyeshadows, mostly the ones that you would get like, like for example, like a MAC eyeshadow comes in like those individuals, you can depot them and put them all here. Um, if you wanted to do like a blush and like a bronzer and then just like your everyday colors, that's cool too. And if they don't automatically have like a metal pot that's gonna be magnetic, it comes with these little magnets that you can stick to the bottom of them so that they'll stick in here and that way you have everything really organized. So that is everything. If you guys saw anything here that you, that kind of piqued your interest and you wanna know more about or you want me to try it out and let you know what I think of it, like give my honest opinion about it, I definitely will. So let me know if you wanna see that in a video or like on Snapchat, if you just prefer like a quick snap about it, let me know that or I could do it on a blog post, whatever your preferred review is let me know in the comments well thank you to all of the brands that let me try samples of these things i'm so grateful and thank you so much to style hall for sending me to beautycon i had so much fun it was such a great experience and it was awesome so thank you so much and thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i don't know why i always do a thumbs up like you don't know what a thumbs up is if you're not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe hope you guys have a great night thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time bye